Hey everyone, here's a quick cosmic update from the world of lunar exploration. If you've been following space news, you probably heard about Japan's latest attempt to land a private spacecraft on the moon. Unfortunately, things didn't go exactly as planned. Let's break down what happened. So, the mission was led by a private Japanese company called Ispace. Their spacecraft, Hakuto-R, was aiming to make Japan just the fourth country to land softly on the moon. It launched back in December cruised through space, and got tantalizingly close to pulling off a historic touchdown. But as the lander descended, communication was suddenly lost. A few tense hours later, Is Space confirmed what everyone feared. The lander had crashed on the lunar surface. Now you might be wondering, what went wrong? According to Is Space, everything looked normal until the very last moments. Their tech was performing well, guidance systems were good, but then, right near the finish line, the lander ran out of fuel. That led to a free fall and a much harder impact than planned. But here's the thing. Even with the crash, this mission wasn't a total failure. The team managed to get vital data during descent, and every attempt, successful or not, brings us closer to reliable lunar travel. This is how space exploration works. You try, you learn, you improve. Remember, even NASA and SpaceX have had their share of crash landings before hitting their stride. So, what's next for Ispace? They're already working on new missions, taking every lesson from this one. The road to the moon is never smooth, but every bump gets us a little bit closer. For now, hats off to the engineers and dreamers who keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I'll be keeping my eyes on the next lunar attempt because in space, failure is just another step towards success. See you in the next update.